Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. And for today, I'm gonna be showing you the best controller settings that you can start out with, all right? Like for a starter controller player, all right? I'll show you the quickest ones, all right? So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so when you first get into your settings thing, you wanna check here, uh, this is all I got, but go to game, I'm on this language, movement, toggle sprint, sprint by default, Do, this one is gone, auto doors, combat, you can just like stop it, I'm just gonna like go through it, just go through it slowly, make sure, if you don't have turbo, turbo building on, off, yeah, if you don't have turbo building on, then what are you doing, bro? If like you're not good at editing, not building and stuff, you need that on, bro. You actually need that on. So put on turbo building. Confirm edit on release. Like really helps you, helps you a lot. Then all this is just some extra stuff. So then you want to just skip all this stuff, all right? Unless you're using mouse or mouse or whatever, then skip all that. Then control auto run, auto run. Immediate Builder Pro on this back as fine. Don't do vibrations. These are just my aim and look settings. You can change if you want by using this. Okay, just do that if you want. All right, but the, the, my edit is 2.4, all that. And then look horizontal, you can see it. Mm, this, that. Mm, these are like my edit binds, all right? These are my edit binds. It's using, I'm using custom. All right, so if you don't know what reset is, it's basically, hold on. Okay. It's basically this. So if you do like that, click that, immediate, all right? So if I do like, if I do like, hold on, let me do this. If I click here, immediate, all right? It just resets it all to where it was. You can even do that by using like this. Like if it's like this, or you can do that. Go out here, this. Easy reset and then go to back. All right, it's really easy to use. All right, so if you don't know how to do reset, then yeah, I'd recommend using it. All right, but all right, um, let's go back. So edits. Um, these I don't really use. Inventory unbounds. I don't use. Squad comms, emotes, that doesn't, that stuff doesn't really matter. Pickaxe, unbound, square, unbound. This is jump, confirm, and basically all that, so yeah. That's what does this and stuff, all right. I'll just mess that up, but all right. So yeah, that's what I do. All right, but yeah, those are basically, that's basically it. That's my settings and stuff, so. I'll just do a little free build, I guess, if I want. I'm guessing. But yeah, those are like the best controller settings for like beginners. All right. What in the world? I was playing with my friend. But yeah, best controller settings for beginners, all right? All right, so if you guys want to see more stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. It'll help me out a lot, make me post videos, but I'm going to school tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to be posting. I'll have to check with my parents and stuff if I can post. Not even play the game, just be posting and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just post content, because I'll have it already pre-made, and it'll just be like on creative or something. Most of it was just probably being creative. But yeah. The Superman challenges did come out, so make sure to check that stuff out. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, best controller settings for beginners. This is no cap. Alright, these are the best controller settings for beginners. But once you're more advanced, then you can like do your own stuff, alright? But yeah, for beginners, I would recommend using this stuff. So, alright. I'll talk to y'all guys later.